Hey guys, Ben here on behalf of TMC and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm proud to welcome you to my latest listing. She's a 2001 uh, Fontaine Peugeot Belize 43 by the name of Sea Glass. Uh, she's lying here in Stewart, Florida. As usual, I'll have the full specs down in the description. If you want to go see her, just drop me a line. Uh, I have lots of good things to say about this boat and the Belize 43 in particular, but uh, I'll just leave you with an anecdote for now that Belize 43 is actually one of the few catamarans Richard Woods said uh, he liked when he saw it at the Annapolis Boat Show in uh, 2000 or so. So, you know, if it can please him, this boat is, uh, this boat is surely a crowd pleaser. So, as usual, thanks for tuning in and enjoy the tour. All right, we're here in lovely Stewart, Florida today looking at the Belize 43 Sea Glass. Since I have this nice dock from which to start at the front, uh, I'll do that since typically that's not the case. You'll notice the boat's logo here. It was designed by the owner them, uh, themselves. It's very nice. I like it a lot. We'll start to uh, make our way on board and walking past, you'll notice the profile of this boat. It's not very high. It doesn't have a whole lot of freeboard, so this boat doesn't carry that much windage. It's not like a, uh, a big modern catamaran. And you'll see the nice big silver button that Peugeot attached to every cat in this generation just to make sure you know what you're looking at. So beneath me is the starboard mechanical space. I'll show you the port eventually. The dinghy is not included in the sail, so uh, just imagine that doesn't exist. Looking down, you have the uh, uh, starboard sugar scoop as well as access to the dinghy. This boat has a bowl style cockpit and uh, this may not be everyone's favorite, but I, there is one group of people in particular that I oh no, do love this kind of cockpit and that is families with small children. So yes, there are is indeed a fan base for this, but you'll notice the traveler runs all the way the length of uh, of the back of the cockpit and you also have a hard top here actually a soft top really because this is a uh, this is a vinyl but you can still mount uh, solar panels on it fun fact is that uh, soft tops and hard tops were not really an included feature with uh, Belize 43s if you look at old photos of uh, of uh, when they were first marketing these you know there's there's really just nothing and you know these days that would definitely not fly but things were a little bit different back then and speaking of different, looking at the port side mechanical space, you have one door which leads to your steering gear and another door. And off to the side is your battery bank. Uh, I'll flash some photos of the uh, engine when I get it, but uh, it's a little bit too <laughs> difficult to climb down in here with the gimbal and camera. It is one of the quirks of this boat, which is that the engines are located you know, very deep in the hull. So I'm standing at about the water line it's just to give you a, a reference of where it's at. Generally in these walkthroughs, I don't think I've ever seen anyone show a, uh, show a, uh, the Belize 43 or Bahia 56 engine room. And there's kind of a good reason for that. You've got a swinging swim ladder on this sugar scoop. We'll go forward first, but give you a quick glimpse of the cockpit. There's also an eyes and glass enclosure that can enclose the entire Dodger. Um, it's currently put away, but it is there. And you'll notice this indentation here is actually a handrail. So it's molded in, as though there's no extrusions. Looking forward, you've got a pair of fiberglass seats and a single trampoline. Uh, Peugeot has never really been one for split trampolines, so as far as my knowledge goes. There's a view of the foredeck. Trampoline feels nice and solid. You never wanna be walking on a trampoline when it uh, feels like it's about to break on you, never a good sign. We've got a single big hatch here that opens up into the anchor locker. Just make sure to let it down gently. There you have storage for your fenders, uh, lines, boat hooks, and there's your anchor locker and your windlass, or actually I should say capstan, but nobody uses the correct term for that, so I won't either.
Very convenient rope handle as well. You've got two, uh, two forward hatches here, so the ventilation inside the salon is, is pretty nice. This hatch in particular leads down to a uh, storage area, but you can also access it from the forward cabin, as you'll see. You've got uh, winches on the mast for your halyards, and the main and the jib are led back to two winches on either side. I wouldn't say this boat is, you know, uh, hugely blue water ready. It's got some solar. It's got some good equipment. It's more of a platform at this point for someone to build on. Uh, these panels are only, I think they're only about 100, 100 watts each, but can always add more. Got a matching uh, dark blue stack pack and a jib. All right, coming back down to the actual boat, we'll continue on to the interior and the cockpit. Uh, looking first, there's you've got your helm station, but I'll draw your attention first to the cockpit cushions, which are brand new. And of course, underneath all of the cockpit seating, there is uh, storage, of course. Duck in here real quick, and you'll notice you've got a combination of some Garmin, like I mentioned, a chart plotter, as well as the remaining electronics, your wind indicator and auto helm are both Raymarine. Then you have your throttles for the uh, previously mentioned Yanmar engine. This boat is Yanmar. Um, I think some of the uh, some of the Belize's were Volvo, but this one is Yanmar. And you've got your tachometers and uh, engine controls down there. Your booster seat here is uh, nice and wide, so no matter how big you are, you can fit your tush in there. And here you have your main outside dining area. and then we'll go inside. If you do want to come view this boat, just make sure you watch your step. There's two uh, drops down into the salon. I guess they didn't want to make the uh, drop too steep. So looking at the interior of this boat, it is, uh, you know, it is quite curvy. You know, that was the style that Peugeot was building in, in the uh, late 90s to 2000s. So you've got a dual basin sink here, a set of cabinets for your kitchen storage, a three burner stove, a fridge which is down there and a nice big drop-in freezer. The uh, previously mentioned two hatches and a nice big curved seating area which is elevated with uh, just gorgeous gorgeous table you know looks really great <laughs> surprisingly for a 20 year old boat and the door as well opens and closes real nice. I think that after this generation, maybe Peugeot doors were not as nice, but on the Belize, it's a good one. You've got a TV up there, and your nav station is uh, off at the end of the salon, where you have a second Garmin chart plotter and uh, VHF. This boat is a four cabin, so the layout is symmetrical. There's your first aft stateroom. And a nice feature of the aft staterooms on this boat is that uh, there's actually windows to the cockpit. So if somebody is keeping watch up top and uh, you want to sleep down below, you can do so. And uh, they need to holler at you. It's not that difficult. We've got shelves up, th a sh shelf storage shelf there, as well as each cabin has uh, a closet dedicated to it. Here's the first of two heads and uh, another quirk, I suppose, of 90s Peugeot is that it has this, uh, what I call sort of a double door, a butterfly door, where it can be accessed by either side of the cabin. That's how you enclose the forward cabin, so both of them can access the head at the same time. You've got your sink and vanity here, an escape hatch. In your head. Previous owners were uh, pretty big into scuba diving, so they have some dive gear up there, but the owners aren't keeping that. They already have their own, so it is included in the sale. And to give you a sense of the kind of storage space you can get, sorry for the lighting. The other one is a bit better. I'll show you that as well.
Hopping back across, we'll finish up with the final two staterooms. Interesting thing about this boat is that uh, the flooring is actually all, uh, uh, what is it, kind of flexi, what is it again, um, sea deck, sea decking is what it's called. It's essentially uh, made to look like teak, but it's really foam. And then given that this uh, stateroom has the nicest mattress, you can guess that's where the owner spends most of their time. This boat is a four cabin, two head layout. And this boat was also built in a four cabin, four head layout. Not that that is most people's favorite, but uh, the four cabin layout actually rotates this bed to be a thwart ships. And then there's actually a fourth head, which is placed there. Yes, it's a bit strange, but uh, if you remember my video about the wall boat in Colombia, that boat is a four cabin, four head. This one is the two head version. And this is a wet head, technically, but uh, by no means do I think that this is cramped. Certainly I've seen more cramped wet heads. I'll wrap up with the final stateroom. And you'll notice that this stateroom also has storage here. In fact, all the staterooms, even if I didn't mention it, do have storage under the beds. And the forward storage locker is also accessible. Or you could turn it into like a second cabin. I've even seen someone do that recently. One final thing I'll say in the salon that I probably omitted earlier is that underneath the seating, there is indeed more storage. So you can fit interesting uh, stuff down there. And these cushions as well are also brand new. Again, uh, colors are personally chosen by the owner. I think it matches very well with the rest of the interior. Underneath here in particular is actually the AC. So I think that just about wraps it up for the uh, Fontaine Peugeot Belize 46 Sea Glass. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.